Wow. Vern, you gotta try this. Oh my god. It's almost a Fanta. The orange Fanta was an ice cream. There are no tourists in there. So today we thought we'd give you a look at some of Venice's best gelato shops. And of course, we aren't going to be able to cover all of them today, but I think five is more than enough to give you an idea. So we're trying to find our first gelato place, and I swear Vernon always knows where to find a place in the middle of nowhere, a part of Venice we've never been to. Gelati Nico's best feature is probably this view. Being right next to a canal has its perks, like being able to watch the gondolieres. And another thing to mention is that you don't even have to stand to do it. Venice is definitely a walking city, but sometimes you just have to take a break. So what we have here is two euros of pistachio, pistachio perfection. The flavor is amazing. It's not too strong. The colors aren't too fake, too green. And just the creaminess, the smoothness, on a hot morning like this, this is exactly what you need. One of the things we noticed when we went inside for the first time was there are no tourists in there. So I don't know if this is a local place or this is just so far away from where the tourists go that it's popular with the locals. But either way, if you're looking for something super authentic and you don't want to be around a ton of people, this may be the one that you want to check out. I'm not sure exactly where we are, but this definitely feels like the actual residential area of Venice. And that's something I always wonder, like the people that live in Venice, because there's actually locals that do live here, where do they live? And this is the area. We stumbled upon it by accident, trying to find this gelato place, but it's really beautiful here. And next is Gelato di Natura. There's a bunch of these all over Venice, so you shouldn't have a problem finding one. Yeah, it's getting pretty hot right now, so we had to go with lemon flavored, something that's uh, less creamy. If you're getting gelato in the middle of the day, get something like this. It's so much more refreshing. You always think you can eat a bunch of gelato, but how much gelato can you really eat in a day? Mm. That, the lemon flavor is definitely there. So I'm not sure what's going on today, but it's actually not that busy. And yes, this is. Venice is not busy. It's Sunday, it's summer, it's hot. You think it'll be more packed, but it's actually pretty nice today. Gelato Teca Suso is easily the best rated place on Google, so when we saw that, we knew we had to check it out. The other gelato shops don't even come close. So let's see if it lives up to the hype. So that by far was the craziest, busiest place. This was also 250, so this is the most expensive. But the flavor is, wow, when you want something sweet, when you have a sweet tooth, this is, Vern, you gotta try this. Oh my God. Do not trust Apple Maps in Italy, because apparently we're supposed to turn right here. So now you think when you grow up, you can do whatever you want, include eat ice cream all day, which is kind of the plan that we had today. But we've realized at some point that we actually needed to eat real food. So we stopped off at this panini place right next to another the gelateria on our list. So, so Vernon, let me pick out the chiquetti. Of course you end up getting sardines or anchovies or something like that. That's obviously gonna be yours. This one's definitely mine. Gelateria Il Doge's best feature may be that it's next to this really great sandwich place. So if you're looking to grab something quick before you get gelato, this is the go-to spot. So this is the gelato from the uh, Gelateria Il Doge. And this one is called Crema del Doge, which has orange, chocolate, and vanilla. It is one of my favorite gelatos I've ever had. Usually I end up getting like a fig flavored one, but this one is incredible. All of the flavors work so well together that it almost becomes addictive. Maybe that's a problem. You know what this flavor reminds me of? It's almost a Fanta. The orange Fanta was an ice cream, but it's not, it's subtle, but it's very refreshing. And last we have Venki, and this one is really awesome because it's literally inside of the train station, so it's really, really convenient. So the last stop on our gelato journey for today is actually right inside the train station. It's actually a chocolate shop, and believe it or not, I also got a free chocolate. So we have the mango flavor. That actually feels like you're eating a mango. Refreshing, it's great, but this was 360. 
honestly, I don't know if it's worth 360 for one scoop. It's amazing because it's hot. Honestly, we did a lot of walking today. And so because of that, we're always looking for something really, really refreshing. I think this definitely fits that. So now the tough decision, which one was the best? Well, at least which one I thought was the best. For me, I think it has to be between the first one, which was the pistachio one, pistachio one, right next to the canal, which had the beautiful views. Or is it the third one, which is like the popular chain, which was like the caramel that was melting? Honestly, I think I have to give it to the first one because that pistachio flavor was just so perfect. It wasn't too sweet. It was just perfection, I think. Which one do you like? I'm definitely going to go with the same one you chose. And the reason why is because of the view. Most of the gelato places here in Venice are going to be along these little narrow streets and canals and stuff like that. But only that one is going to give you this really cool view of the, the open space where all the little gondolaries and stuff like that are going back and forth. So I definitely think that that one is good because they all have good gelato, but at the end of the day, the view is what makes it for me. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. It was really fun to shoot and it was very delicious to shoot. And stay tuned for our future adventures. Subscribe and like. Ciao.